Welcome into sportsbookreview.com. I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And this is the Outback Bowl preview. Saturday, January 2nd, we've got Ole Miss and Indiana. Now, before we get started, sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF is the website. You need to head over there. We have an article and a video for every single bowl matchup. So, with that said, make sure that you are subscribed to this channel, that you like the video, and that you jump into the comments. We want to hear from you, what you like about this matchup, all that kind of stuff. If you think we're right, if we're wrong, whatever. We want to hear from you, so jump in the comments. 12.30 p.m. Eastern Time on ABC. Ole Miss in Lane Kiffin's first season makes a bowl game. They are 4-5 and five straight up, 4-5 and five against the spread as well. Now, they are 2-2 two and two in their last four. Uh, Indiana, 6-1 and one straight up, and they are 7-0 and oh against the number. They have exceeded expectations at every possible level, even without star quarterback Michael Penix, who is still out for the rest of the season. Indiana opened a seven-point favorite. They are down to a six-and-a-half-point favorite as it sits right now. The total of 69-and-a-half has gone down to 66-and-a-half. Now, we're not used to seeing that from Ole Miss games, right? Typically, everybody takes the over in Lane Kiffin coached games, but, uh, but not in this situation. Now, as good as the Ole Miss offense is, their defense is equally as bad. Uh, Elijah Moore and Kenny Yaboa are both going to opt out of this game. They opted out of the LSU game, and Ole Miss was still able to put up points. So I don't think points are going to be a problem for Ole Miss that much. Uh, the Indiana defense, in their last three games against teams not named Ohio State, they've given up 6, 11, and 0 points. Uh, now those offenses are nothing like Ole Miss's, but at the same time, um, you know, against Ohio State, they only gave up 7 points in the second half. Now, they were already down 35-7, to seven, but they were able to score at that point, et cetera, et cetera. Prediction Tracker has Indiana winning this game by 9.5 points. Uh, Jack Tuttle has been effective, but let's not get it twisted. This offense has not been nearly as dynamic with him at quarterback, and some of that could be those Big Ten defenses. Some of it could just be that they don't have really good playmakers, right? Now, Freifogel, the, uh, the wide receiver, he's dynamic and he's exciting, but there's only one of him. Uh, which which way do you lean in this ball game? I don't really want to pick against either of these teams because I I, I love both these coaches and, and and what's going on at both these programs and and where they're going. Um, if you tell me I had to make a pick, I'm gonna take the points. I'm gonna take the head start in the game. I'm gonna take the dog. I can get down with that. I so I think that Indiana's. Their offensive approach to this game, they will be able to run the football. I think they will slow this thing down. Their time of possession this season has been uh, a big part of what they do on offense. They keep the ball away from the other team. I do like the under. I like the under 66 and a half uh, because I, I, I think Indiana is going to keep this football for a while. And I believe that I believe that they are. How do I put this? I think Indiana can win this game. I think that they can make Matt Corral turn. Well, the football they're almost over. A, f- a touchdown favorite. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm saying they I, should be able to win the game. I'm trying to. I'm trying to get my thoughts straight on it. India, I think they can cover the six and a half, and I, I think okay. they will. I'm going to ride Indiana on this one. I think they will cover this because I think that they force turnovers and they make Ole Miss make mistakes, and and that's been a, a problem for Ole Miss multiple that times is. this year. That's so, right. Tw- twice, twice they have turned the ball over a lot. In both of those games, they barely got beat. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, no, no. Against uh, so Arkansas, 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 they got smoked. Yeah. Against LSU, man, and they turned the ball over what six times? Yeah, a lot. And and it still came down to a uh, last minute field goal to win the game. Yes. Yes. So no, you're you're right. I, you know that's now LSU's substantially not not nearly as good as Indiana this year. So that's, that's true. I would take Indiana's defense over LSU's this, uh, this All year for sure. All for day sure. Yeah. So no, the I, under is definitely my play. That's the big play. I believe in that. Uh, I would just I kind of hope for a close game, hope for a good game, hope for a fun game, and and then hope for a field goal game. I can uh, I can get with that. I can be hopeful for that and still believe that uh, the Indiana is going to cover this six and a half. So I will roll Hoosiers minus six and a half. You will take Ole Miss plus six and a half, and we're both riding under sixty six and a half in this game and. Hopefully, it'll be nice weather, a beautiful game, and a nice, fun, close game. So I can I can get down with that. All right. With that said, head over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. 
Make sure that you click the link in the description for the article that pertains specifically to this matchup. We would certainly appreciate that. And jump in the comments, like the video, and subscribe to the channel because we will have a video for every single bowl matchup from here on. So go ahead and knock that out. For sportsbookreview.com, I'm Gary. And I'm Chris. And we will see you again on the next one.